Have you taken time today to meditate on the message of your Lord and Savior Christ Jesus, to think through your life, where you're going and what's happening, especially this very day? Well, that's what we like to speak about today. I'm Pastor Richard Krause from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. We also have satellite locations in the city of Wauwatosa on 112th Street and also up in the town of Aaron, close to Holy Hill. We're going to be looking at a section taken today from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 35 to 39. This is what we read there. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him. And when they found him, they exclaimed, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, Let us go somewhere else to the nearby villages so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. So he traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. Here we went. Uh, here we have read this section that talks about Jesus going off by himself, getting away from the crowds, getting away from the disciples, and just spending time between him and his father. He gets up while it is still dark, while others are still sleeping, no doubt, and he goes to a solitary place, and there he prays. I think if Jesus had to do this, how important for us at times to go off to some place where we're hopefully not going to be disturbed and to commune with our God. When I have opportunity to do this, or I make opportunity to do this, I always think I, as I'm sitting there in that place, I think about the Ten Commandments, I think about how I failed my God or failed other people around me, and I need to repent of my sins. And I find great comfort in the message of Jesus, the message of his suffering, the message of his death there on the cross, the message of all he has done for me, the message of his resurrection. And I'm comforted and I'm strengthened. And then I look forward and I think about the things that I have to do for the rest of the day, the things that I have to accomplish, people I have to speak to. I pray that God would give me a kind and a forgiving heart to speak to other people at times when it's not so easy of a conversation, to go and especially take care of these matters that have to be taken care of and to do that in the name of Jesus, to think how Jesus would handle a situation, how Jesus would talk to those people, how Jesus would have spent the time of that day. Well, suddenly when Jesus goes to this solitary place and he's praying, all of a sudden it's ended, huh? The disciples find him like, what are you doing here? We got work to do or whatever people say. And isn't that the way it is too? Sometimes we go off to a solitary place, but there's always the tyranny of our agenda. There's always the things that have to get done or maybe the children run and they, uh, uh, they speak to us when we're not ready to be spoken to. Or our husband or our spouse comes and everything changes. And Jesus then goes on on and says that um, I need to get out and I need to reach people in other places as well. I need to preach the gospel. I need to tell people the good news. I need to go and uh, bring the gospel to other people that don't know about me. There's so much that has to be done. But he's renewed. He's been strengthened. He's now focused on what he needs to accomplish we know that when it came to Galilee, there were three, we might say, uh, times of uh, ministry that went on. And, and now he's in this first round of ministry there in Galilee, reaching out in the name of Jesus, doing the things that the Father has empowered him to do. But don't forget uh, that if we want God's power in our life, boy, we've got to have some time with him. We have to make some time with him to uh, repent of our sins, to receive his forgiveness again, and to be strengthened to serve him.